some time, and when I say time, a long time, thinking about whether I should <laughs> make a confession to my subscribers. And the reason why I didn't want to say anything for a long time was for two reasons. The first reason was because, which was like the main reason, I didn't want to say this on my channel, but just in case I have subscribers from my past that I don't want knowing much about my life. And so I kept this to myself. But another reason why I also didn't want to say anything because I don't want to lose subscribers over this. And after over a year of actually contemplating this, like I said, it was a long time, I decided I'd go in and say something. And um, it's not like anything that you guys are going to be like shocked about. It's just like something it's like a dilemma in my mind but anyway um, so I don't have the BMW anymore that I used to have and make videos for my ch this channel um, I actually sold it to my brother so I'm so thankful I still get to see it because I love that little car so much I actually got a different BMW so I still have a BMW but this particular BMW that I have, it's a newer one, and majority of the servicing that this car takes, I, I take it into BMW, the dealership, to get it serviced. And it goes to service quite often. I don't know if that's just everybody's experience with their BMWs, but they seem to need to get serviced a lot. Um, and the reason why I take it into the dealership to get serviced instead of doing videos and po posting them here on the channel is because it constantly is needing some kind of computer coding in order to accept stuff like something simple like replacing the battery at one point I had to replace the battery on this car and um, I went through YouTube videos on how to replace it and you can do it yourself at home for sure but you have to buy like a something to plug into the car to get the car to so you could program the battery into the car I know something like simple as that um, it doesn't just accept a battery apparently from my understanding it will have um, trouble monitoring the computer has trouble monitoring its battery usage if it's not registered to the car's computer or so which could be a total lie I don't know and um, so something like that, just something simple like that that I could have shown and put on the channel, I ended up having to take to BMW and have them replace the battery. So another reason why this was um, something else I don't really show on my channel is because, um, like I said, just in case there's people who are subscribers to my channel who are from my past that I don't want knowing what I drive that way they still think I'm in my other car and they won't recognize me in this car. So I haven't put any pictures of this car up. And it kind of allows me to stay in cognito, I guess. It's just like a fear. And I guess that's just part of putting your life on the internet, right? For people to see you. But if there's any servicing I do to this car on my own, I will put a video up on the channel and I hope I don't lose your subscription over changing cars. Um, back sometime after I bought this car, I actually did make a video. And I just didn't tell you guys that it was actually a different car than the one I was previously making videos on, which was the 325i. And now I have this 3... 28iX. Sorry, I'm driving and there's construction up ahead. But anyways, um, so I made a video already once. Uh, and it was the video, if you checked it out, it was about the stickers 
um, these little BMW stickers I put inside the car and I haven't made the video but I made maybe if I have time I'll I'll edit a video to put up on how to change your uh, when you open the door you have the light that comes on so you can see outside where you're stepping and um, I actually changed out all those lights so that way they aren't the standard um, light with just a light it actually has now projection lights so it projects the BMW uh, emblem I guess I don't know I don't even notice it when I open my door <laughs> But it might just be because I'm just so used to it. But I think it's like a cool little upgrade you can make to your car. I guess maybe I can make videos about my servicing experiences at BMW. So I'll contemplate that. And I probably won't take a year to um, contemplate that. But that's what I'll do. I guess. In the time I've had this car, it's gone into the shop quite a bit. Like I was saying. And um... <laughs> I've had to, like it's, it has more servicing in line already. And I think that's part of like, just, you know, dealing with a dealership or any mechanic. It's always like your car needs this, your car needs this, your car needs this. Now your car needs this. And the way I kind of started to deal with some of those servicing things, it's like, well, yes, it needs all that servicing to keep it at the top notch, highest performance. Um, I mean, but it is a car and it ages. And so my theory is <laughs> I service what I need to, to keep the car running optimal to get me from point A to point B safely. And outside of that, it's like, well, if it doesn't need it right now, then I'll, you know, I'll get it fixed whenever it needs it. I know one one of the times I took the car in because it was giving me a light, and um, I couldn't figure out. It was saying there was a headlight out, and I was looking at the lights, and I couldn't figure out what light was out because there was my headlights seemed to be working just fine, even my uh, my brights, my high beam and low beam seemed to be working just fine. And there's so many car, so many lights on this car. So at one this one point I finally just took the car in and um, Nick calls me up and he's like hey uh, you have yeah we see the light that's out and I was like what light is it and he's like it's one of your parking lights and I was like oh gosh I didn't even notice that thing it's so small <clears throat> but he's like okay well um, we can replace it and it'll be a hundred and fifty dollars it's like a hundred for labor and then like fifty dollars for the light and I was like uh, it's pretty pricey I'll just uh, replace it myself because I was thinking you know I'll just replace it myself and make a video and then post it here for you guys because one of my higher viewed videos is my light replacement on the on the 325i and um, so I was like yeah it's all right I'll just replace it myself it, you know it'll help out my viewers if they have this type of car now and um, he's like all right are you sure and I was like yeah that's right and he's like okay and so he hangs up and then like five minutes later so he calls me back and he's like hey Elizabeth um, I could probably get that price down for you uh, we could probably change out that light for $90 um, if you're alright with that and I was like that's a lot Nick I was like I could go to Walmart and buy that light bulb or from AutoZone and buy it for $13 and replace it myself and he's like you sure and I was like yeah and he's like well you know like those lights aren't always the same like this is OEM blah 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 because you know it's obviously it's BMW replacing everything and I'm like yeah I know I've, d I've done this before and he's like alright and so then he hangs up and then like 10 minutes later, he calls me back and he's like, Hey, Elizabeth, um, if you just want to pay for the cost of the light, we can just go ahead and put that light in and you can just pay us for that. And I said, well, how much is that? And he's like, Oh, I can, I can get, it. I can get it to you for $30. And I was like, 
all right, let's do that. And I was laughing. I Poor Nick. I was laughing because I'm just like, I knew by the second call that that light had already been replaced in the car and they didn't want to have to tell the technician to go change out that light. And I don't know how, I probably could have continued to pl play that until the end till when they just replaced it for free. But I thought, you know, it's all right. I'll, I'll pay them the $30 to replace the light um, because it is a lot of work to go and buy the light <laughs> like that so much. But for my life, that's a lot. And then to take the video, the camera out and then film and then transfer all that information onto the computer and then edit it and then take all that and then upload it onto YouTube and make a thumbnail for the video. Like there's a lot that goes into making a video. I don't think a lot of people realize how much work goes into making videos. Quality videos when you're not just streaming and talking when there's no editing involved. But anyway, um, so anyway, so yeah, I knew, I knew by the second call that he had gave me that they had already replaced the light. <laughs> and so I was like, we're just gonna, we're gonna take this as see where we can go with this and so I mean I went from a $150 uh, light replacement parking light replacement to $30 um, so they can they can work with you and I think the more you go and talk with them or work with them they they begin to know you as a client a lot more and so Nick right away he'll always just try to find me a a deal on whatever it is that needs to be replaced. I'll even, um, I'll even like shoot him an email. I can shoot him a text. I can do different things to ask him like, how much is this going to cost? And he'll give me a price of whatever it is. And I can call around to like different, uh, mechanics and compare their price to BMW's price for the service. And it's usually like not much of a difference in price like maybe $30 honestly and so I'm just like I'll pay an extra $30 to take it to the dealership instead of just a mechanic um, mechanic shop around around town so I forgot to tell you too on why I sold my other car my 325i so I had been looking for another car for a couple years and that's kind of the way I am with cars. Like if I see a car I like, I will look for years for the one I'm looking for, more or less. I mean, the variants will be like color of the exterior or interior. Those I'll vary on, but anyway. Um, and my boyfriend had been keeping an eye out for a 328i. X and um, they would come in time to time but they weren't at the price I was looking for and um, or the mileage was too high or something there was always something but this one actually had to happen to come in and so I took a look at it and I liked it and oh my gosh this was a headache to get this car um, just because of like parts shortages in the on the planet <laughs> I guess because of shipping and stuff like that anyway moving on uh, that's a story in itself if you want to hear about that <laughs> leave it in the comments and I'll make a video and tell you about the purchasing of this car so I'm like okay well I need to get that other car repaired before I sell it because I it has a check engine light on and I don't know what its problem is now and so I took it to this mechanic and he said he had it for a couple days and then he told me that it had a blown head gasket. And it was gonna be like <clears throat> 3,000 or some or 2,000 to fix it. I talked to my brother and he, he had told me like maybe a year prior or something that he would be interested in buying that my car for me if I was ever interested in selling it. And so this opportunity came and so I got this car that I'm in right now driving. And so I said, before I sell this car, I'm gonna take it to the mechanic to get it fixed so I don't sell it with a check engine light. And so I got that diagnosis from that mechanic. And then I um, called my brother and I was like, hey, 
I don't know if you're still gonna be interested in buying this car from me because I took it to this mechanic and I was gonna get it fixed, but he's saying it has a blown head gasket and it's gonna be like two, 2,000 fix. And he was like, oh my gosh, no, I'm gonna have to pass on the car. I don't, I'm too busy right now to fix it because my brother is super smart and um, he's just super, super busy. He's a farmer. And so like, if I'm able to, get him to fix my car for me I will I'll take it to him for him to fix it for me um, but usually he's pretty stressed out with farming and stuff like that and so this was during the summer and so I was like you know do you want to do you want to buy this car still like it's okay if you want to pass and he's like I'll pass I'm just way too stressed out right now I'm just way too busy to deal with your car too and everything else so I was like okay it's understandable and so then I stayed talking with him and he was like well what is the car doing why are they saying it's a blown head gasket I was like I don't know that's just what the mechanic diagnosed it as and um, so my brother asked me questions like is it doing this check the oil does it have this and so I'm like let me go by the mechanic shop and um, I'll call you back and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there and so he's like okay so I went over there, got to my car, and he had me checking all his stuff. He's like, do you see this? And I'm like, no. And he's like, how about that? And I said, no. And he's like, I don't think that's a bonehead gasket. I don't know why they're saying that. Um, and I said, well, how about this? <clears throat> I said, how about I take you the car, and I'll just leave it down there on the farm. And I said, and whenever you can get to it um, to check it out, to see if that's what's wrong with it, I said, then, then you can do that. You know, it's not like I owed money. I, on it or anything or that I needed the money from it to buy this car so I'm like you know it can sit there for the summer if, if that's what it takes and so he's like yeah I guess I'll do that so I loaded up my son and we drove it home to the farm and it ran just fine as it normally did other than that you know the dash light showing a check engine um, so the car ran fine so I dropped it off there to him and he kept it there for, it was there for a couple months. He finally got back to me and he said, it does have an oil leak on it. Um, he said, but it's nothing um, too crazy. And um, so he decided after having the car and I guess driving it around for a while that he decided he wanted the car after all so I sold it to him for the price it was at that point with a um, you know engine problems um, like I said it was a running vehicle it was the car I used to drive my son around at the time and myself so it was our daily driver and um, <clears throat> so he went ahead and bought it for me for that price and um, he fixed it and um, he even fixed some other stuff that needed fixing on it and I just I was telling him I said you know I would have taken that car in to get maintenance more but anytime I took it to mechanics being a female they always would try to tell me it needed this or that and I could just never trust what these mechanics were telling me to, it needed. So I was really doing like general maintenance on it just to keep the car running. And um, that's kind of the situation I was in. I'm not a mechanic myself, so I did what I could through, you know, learning on YouTube videos or the little, the stuff I knew in life from working with my brother and him, you know, teach me different things. So anyway, I'm so thankful that the car is still in the family. I love that little car. I get to see it during holidays and stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh, I'm so sorry. I miss you, little car. <laughs> I get attached to my vehicles. But um, so that's why I sold the car. And another reason is because I live in the city now. And I live in a very small house with like zero property. And... I just had no place to store the vehicle. Um, I mean, people might think just put it on the street, but like, the subdivision I live in is really small and there's just like no room. I could have stored it on the street, but you know, it, then it's just sitting out in the elements and it's not in the garage. And I always like keeping the car in the garage or at least under a carport. But anyway, so that's the reason why I sold the car and um, 
that's how I ended up in this car. So I'm about to pick up my son from school and so I will talk to you in the next video. All right, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to reply to them. And also, if you have rude comments, you know, you can keep them to yourself. I don't need your negativity. This is just for my subscribers' information. If you're not interested, then click on your way to another video. All right, have a good day, everybody. Thanks, subscribers, for listening in for another rant of mine. And um, have a good night, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world, <laughs> and whatever time you're viewing this video. All right, bye.